There are several types of structural scoliosis. In this segment, I will discuss the most common type of scoliosis, review symptoms, and outline treatment strategies and options for patients. Idiopathic scoliosis accounts for about 8 in 10 cases of scoliosis. This type of scoliosis typically presents during adolescence, but it can also start earlier in childhood or even infancy. Adolescent idiopathic scoliosis is an abnormal C-shaped or S-shaped curve of the spine. The curvature of the spine is measured by something called the Cobb angle. A Cobb angle of greater than 15 degrees is what we technically consider scoliosis. Symptoms of adolescent idiopathic scoliosis can include back pain, unequal leg lengths, even hips, uneven shoulders, or one shoulder feeling higher or looking higher than the other. It can also result in abnormal gait, as well as breathing difficulties when the rib cage puts pressure on the lungs. When these conditions are left untreated, the deformity might progress significantly. For milder cases, usually your doctor may recommend non-surgical treatment, such as bracing. Often these braces will need to be worn for several hours during the day. This can be effective, particularly in a child that's still growing and have an angle between 25 and 45 degrees. In cases that progress, or when the Cobb angle is greater than 45 degrees, your doctor may recommend surgery to strengthen and straighten the spine and fixate it in place using either screws, hooks, or rod, or sometimes even wires. Surgery treats but does not cure scoliosis. It corrects the abnormal curvature and further presents progression of the disease. Surgical treatment of adolescent idiopathic scoliosis requires both planning and precision. Each scoliotic curvature has unique challenges and often can be difficult when the patient's vertebrae are deformed, twisted, or can be small. Maser's core technology allows surgeons to plan ahead before entering the operating room. Maser Robotics advanced 3D planning software is used before the surgery to create the procedure for each patient's condition and anatomy. During the operation, the physician does the actual work. Major X guides the surgeon tools according to the predetermined blueprint to place the implants in the correct position. 